Welcome back 3D students. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a little more detail to your die and also add materials to it. So let's get started. So this looks pretty good but I know we can make it look better. Let's switch to edge mode, turn on show end results, and let's double click on each edge, outer edge, that surrounds our die. And we're going to make it look like dice you know that have that sort of that rounded corner these edges look a little too soft make sure you have every outer edge selected you can double click on it to select it and then we're going to go up two edges again and let's crease these edges a little bit less than one maybe point, point oh 0.07 seems to be a good number and then let's switch to vertex mode that looks better already and let's select each corner vertex and we're going to give it that sort of collapsed corner look that dice have and then select the scale tool and in all axes scale that corner in a little bit and I think that looks a lot a lot better okay let's create a material for this die. Open up your material editor and we're going to use a multi sub object material and it's going to have two materials attached to it so we can delete all but two slots and drag off the number one node and put a physical material on it and make this one white and you can leave it shiny because dice are shiny and then collapse it and then we can hold down shift and move it and copy that material and connect it to the number two slot and you can make this one whatever color you want I'm going to make mine blue this is going to be the color of the little uh, pips and then let's apply that multi sub object material to our die like so and we can close the material editor. Now all we need to do here really is um, color the pips. So let's turn off open sub div by clicking the little eyeball there and I want you to click inside each pip and select that bottom polygon Confirm that you've got them all selected and then grow the selection like so. Now all of these polygons should be number two. Material ID is right here. Now I'm going to invert the selection because I've got this side here that's not white. I'm going to go to edit, select invert. I'm going to make sure everything else is number one. And then, for good measure, I'm going to select all my polygons, clear the smoothing groups, and put them all in smoothing group number one. And then we can turn on open subdiv. And there you go. That's our die. Now we can smooth this pip edge out a little bit more by giving open subdiv one more uh, iteration. And that looks really nice. In the next video, we're going to copy the copy this die and create a whole bunch of them, and we're going to set up a physics simulation and throw them down on the ground. And I'll see you then.